we have a quorum, let us start our meeting. We'll call it to order and we will do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Um, Given the agenda today, do we have any potential conflicts of interest? Okay, hearing yes, none. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, yeah. David? I will, I will not be voting or participating on the item 3.1. Item 3.1. <clears throat> then let's reverse the order of the agenda so that David can excuse himself. We will take item three point two. Chair, 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 if I can, chair, yes. if I can interject, I think David, you can participate. You just can't vote on it. You'd have to abstain. Oh, okay. That clarification came from the city attorney. Uh, no, that clarification came from some previous discussion about this. All right, that wasn't my understanding, but we'll deal with it. Um, okay, uh, I also see guests here. I see Heather Cleveland and uh, Jason Labuvi and Ryan Zinkel and Bob Moeller and Amy Horst of the, um, good morning, Amy, of the, um, Authority has also joined us. Thank you so much. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes from the December 2nd meeting. So moved. So moved by Soxie, Second. seconded by Horst. All those in favor say aye. 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 Great. Okay. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much. Uh, discussion and possible action on 3.2. Uh, historic Preservation and Facade Grant Application by Heather Cleveland for 1117 North 8th Street, which is the former Susha News Building. Uh, Chad, how about you kicking this one off, please? Sure. So Heather is on the line with us. I don't know if there's anybody on from Legacy Architecture, but uh, Heather's proposing to work with Legacy Architecture to do a facade renovation study. She has recently or is closing very soon on the former Susha's News uh, building on A Street. Um, this is one of those projects we talked about at our last meeting that uh, we are also working with her on an upper floor rehab project. Um, for that property as well. So uh, staff is recommending approval of this. We have the funds and this is in our target area. Great, okay. What's this used for? This will be used to, this $5,000 will be used to do research and develop drawings on a historic renovation of that building. What is the repurposing of the building? What's going to go on in the first floor? Heather will have to answer that. Heather, why don't you yeah, Heather, why don't you give us a little update about what you're planning to do here? Yep, it's a business called Green Bicycle Company, so the first floor space will be retail. And what do Green Bicycles do? Green Bicycle Company, the retail space, it'll sell commuter bicycle gear and then other um, sustainability type supplies like kombucha making kits, sourdough making kits, and other household goods, along with um, books and magazines. Thank you. And if the upstairs is to be refurbished, I am assuming it will be residential? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody on the authority have any questions? No, I would make a motion to approve the grant. Okay. Amy made the motion. Is there a second? Second from James. Second from James. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carried. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Um, perfect. Good luck, Heather. We appreciate your willingness to step up to the plate and help with refurbishing A Street. Thank you. You're welcome. It'll be great. Can I excuse myself from the meeting? You may. You may. Okay, great. Thank you, everybody. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, discussion and possible action on um, the assumption of the ground lease between the Moeller Development Company and Great Book Properties, LLC. Uh, Chad, kick this one off. So, Chair, I, I believe uh, City Attorney Adams has joined us. I don't know if Dave Gass is still on. I can't see. So uh, we do have a quorum if he wants to sign off or if we want to confirm with uh, Chuck whether Dave can uh, listen in, even though it's being represented by somebody in his office. Uh, Chuck, I don't know if you want to answer that. Is there a conflict of it? I'll just sign off. Okay. Thank I, you, Dave. I, I can just sign off. Yeah, that'll make it easier. All right. Um, Thank you so okay. much. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You too. So, so this is the Moeller shanty that's on the west side of the golf course on South Pier. The Bob Moeller uh, built the shanty, um, as I understand it, and there's a number of representatives from this. Uh, these different entities that can probably explain this a little bit better than me, but um, Bob is selling the uh, property to, I believe, the Grateful Properties LLC. Um, and this assignment of an assumption of ground lease would be to transfer the ground lease underneath that building to the new owner. Um, and I'm guessing they're trying to close before the end of the year. So that's about what I know. I would ask you to get any other information from the people on the phone. Perfect. Okay, we have both Ryan Zinkel, who I'm assuming is the attorney of record, and Jason Labuvi, who um, is the potential new property uh, lease or. Okay, Ryan, if you'd like to start. Yeah, I mean, I think Chad summarized it pretty well. Um, you know, Bob bought the, the initial ground lease, an 85 year lease uh, back in 2007. And here he's looking to assign the ground lease, the remaining term of that lease, to Mr. Labuvi, who's set up an LLC to hold title, uh, hold the term of the remaining term of the ground lease. Okay, um, Mr. Labuvi, if you would like to add your intentions on that property, what you're planning to do? Yeah. Good morning. Um, I'm purchasing the property as an investment. Uh, the the upstairs condo I'm planning to use as an Airbnb rental property. And then the downstairs, I've uh, actually formed another LLC um, called Harbor Cafe LLC. Um, my intentions are to open a small uh, kind of light breakfast, lunch, dinner cafe. Um, I'm actually realistically thinking in the spring of 2022, uh, just for a number of reasons. I want to do some build out uh, build a small deck so people can sit outside, uh, build a, a, a deli counter, um, and then uh, get get in compliance. And there's a couple of plumbing things that would need to be done. And then also, you know, as everyone knows, the cell here uh, shut down until, you know, the end of 2021. So, um, you know, with that and then my, my day job, uh, I, uh, I think realistically I'm hoping for 2022. Um, so that's that's really my intent with that property is is to kind of make a nice healthy, uh, family uh, place to go and, and just kind of enjoy a, a light uh, lunch or breakfast outside on the on the south pier. So, does anyone on the authority have questions for either of these two men? I move to approve. Is there a second? I second. I think that's Amy seconded. Um, I have a question for Jason. Are you intending to run the cafe, or will you have someone else run it? I will. I, I'm. I'm kind of looking for a manager. Uh, I've got a, a guy in mind. Um, but yeah, it's it's something I do. I do have a, a full time employment. Um, and so I. I uh, and then, yeah, it's going to kind of be a, a side 
business that I'll be a kind of a silent owner with a general manager. So. Okay. Thank you. Um, my ears did open up when you said you want to add a deck. If that is your intent, that has to come back to this authority, I believe. Yep. Yep. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm aware. Uh, yeah. I've, I've kind of got the vision just kind of waiting to get any plans drawn up. And, and that's why I didn't want to try to rush it by the spring of 2021. I think, you know, just with the, the current climate, uh, you know, with the COVID and everything and restaurants. So I thought just taking my time and trying to get the city to, you know, walk along with me through it. So. Okay. R right. Does Roberta. Have any recommendations for this? Yes. Um, if I can just make a comment that uh, I would encourage you, Jason, to work with the city finance department if you're going to run it as an Airbnb to make sure you're in compliance with paying room tax. Okay. Great. Okay. Any other questions of the authority? There's a motion on the floor. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Roberta, um, can, I, can I make a comment or ask a question? Yes, you may, Ryan. Um, so I wanted to just be clear because when I looked at the agenda, there was an attachment on the agenda of the memorandum of the assignment and assumption of the lease. I, I prepared and sent three documents on Thursday in two separate emails. So. Um, I just want to confirm that the authority is going to be signing the assignment and assumption, the memorandum of the assumption, because that's the document that will record in the Register of Deeds office. And the original ground lease that Mr. Moeller has, the original ground lease never had a recorded memorandum and the title company and this transaction is requiring us to have that. So that's why I forwarded all three of those documents. Hey, Chuck, did you get all that? Yeah, there, there's only the one document on on the agenda. That's the that's the only thing that was published, and so that's the only thing you can act on. So, what do we have to do? Have those other two documents presented at a subsequent meeting? Yeah, and and notice it. Yeah, it's not in the notice for this meeting, so you can't act on it today. Okay. Um, I am assuming that you want this transfer to occur in this calendar year. Um, may I ask a technical question? Isn't it one and the same, Bert? I, Chuck, I don't, isn't this document one and the same? No, the, what, was, what was noted on the agenda was simply the memorandum of assignment and assumption of interest in the ground lease. So I know, I, but the second document does what, technically, please? Well, it sounds like there's two other documents, and one of them is a memorandum of a prior lease, and another one of them is uh, an, that it sounds like uh, a more detailed assignment and assumption of uh, interest. That, that's that's right. I mean, it, so the, the prior memorandum is really just putting in the in the public record what you already did back in 2007 in the assignment in the under in the original lease there was just nothing that was recorded in the chain of title um, what, so what can happen is i can review the memorandum i i haven't seen it it's, it's, um, but i can review that previous memorandum that may not require rda approval okay um, but the but the other document definitely requires rda approval and if it's not noticed on the agenda even if it kind of goes with the same thing it can't you, you can't act on it today and you'd have to have a special meeting okay what i'm hearing is that we will have to have a special meeting i am also understanding the uh timely urgency of this so among all of those parties mr adams mr zinkel and mr palaszczuk if you could figure out what the authority needs to do and then well, make sure we have a quorum um I guess, special meeting. I guess what I, yeah. what, I, what I would ask is, Ryan, Mr. Zinkel, if you could forward that email again. I'm guessing I only got one email with attachments. So I don't know if it, whatever. If you can forward that email that has the right attachments to it to Chuck and I, 
And then I guess for the authority members, I would ask, do you have availability on Friday morning at the same time? It'll take five minutes from 7.45 to 7.50. We can post an agenda today and get the proper stuff and get it wrapped up this week. Uh, we are talking the 18th, Friday the 18th at 7.45. Yes. That works for me. Does it work for everybody else on the call? Okay. They can be there. Yep. All right. Fine. We've got at least four. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. We will hold a special meeting on Friday the 18th to deal with the technical issue of the transfer of the ground lease to Mr. Labudin. Um Hearing no other business, Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Soxie. Are there any objections? See Hearing you that, Friday. <laughs> we are adjourned and we'll see you Friday. Thank you. Bye -bye.